Dear students, we continue to investigate the properties of amino acids here in this module. We saw that amino acids may be positively or negatively charged depending upon their pH. But this, this charge state is not the only property of amino acids. The amino acids also have a structure themselves. So the R group structures they are also very important if you want to look at the role of an amino acid in the folding of a protein and the protein structure. So these structures are of two types. One of them are called the aliphatic amino acids in which we have the nonpolar C and hydrogen H chains. As shown here, all of these chains are simply linear combinations of carbon and hydrogen and therefore are not very eager to talk with water. They are sometimes also called hydrophobic amino acids. The other type of amino acids are the aromatic R groups. These aromatic R groups take their name by the aromatic groups attached here and therefore they are large and are different in behavior as compared to the aliphatic groups. These properties are very important to study that arise from the structure of amino acids. So firstly, the amino acid side chains comprising of carbon and hydrogen only are chemically inert, so they are not chemically eager to talk with other elements or molecules. And secondly, they do not get dissolved by water. So this is the basic property of aliphatic side chains. However, the other type of side chains, the aromatic rings, they are eager to talk to other molecules, they are soluble in water and therefore labile for chemical reactions. So there are clearly these two different properties, one is chemically active, the other is chemically inactive, one is soluble, the other is insoluble. So these properties taken together will give rise to an amino acid's overall solubility and chemical reactivity properties. So to conclude, the elemental composition of the R group side chain is critical in determining the overall property of the amino acid. If these elements are only carbon and hydrogen, then in that case, the side chain will be a small, not reactive, not soluble. But if there are some organic structures available in the side chain, then these properties will change completely. The two properties that are important to note here are solubility and reactivity. And they are very important because they will go on to play a very important role in the folding of proteins and the formation of 3D protein structures.